Ouch, yeah. and that is one sore eye. So see, he's got a multi melting ulcer there, guys. Hello, son, how are you? So the first thing I want to do is make sure there's not a grass seed or something in there. Normally there's like a little trailing edge of, of um, like the little fingers of a grass seed there, but I reckon he's run into something. So what we're going to do is going to inject a little bit of subconjunctival uh, penicillin mixed with Dex. So I'm going to run that. Show you how to do it, guys. What do you reckon? Are you excited? This is a lot cheaper than the ointments, and we get a better response from it, so. Do you wanna shake that for me? Shake it vigorously? Shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture? <laughs> Just um, three mils of uh, penicillin, half a mil of Dex. Shouts are anti-inflammatory. So um, steroids in horses, bad, they just keep melting, but in cows, it seems to really help them recover. So interesting, different different animals. Alpacas, what does Dex do, apparently? Really bad. Abortion in alpacas. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, some people are even afraid to even put oil ointment in them. Now we got three and a half mils. Them mixed together. Yep. Yeah, come on over here and check this out. Cool. So and what we're gonna do is put it in that some conjunctival space. So some people like try to poke it up under the eye, but what works really good is to poke it through the actual eyelid itself. The eyeball itself doesn't want to be. straight onto the eye. So that's like local and inside that inside that tissue there, so it's gonna have localized penicillin and I just do the rest. Yeah, Work pretty good. Normally I go three and then half, but yeah. like two and a half. Yeah. And he had regular old penicillin. Do you have some? You gave me two tubes and I used half a tube. When did you do it? Yesterday. I'll give him another day or so and then maybe treat him again. Bring him the back side. I'm not He's probably going to end up with a pretty gray, big gray spot there, and then you just got to decide whether or not that's going to affect him. He's a great looking pole. Yeah. yeah. How's he going, Breed Plan? Sure, we're looking Breed Plan. Check this out. What's that Breed Plan? Are we still Let's going? Let's see if it looks like that first. <laughs> Andrew Johnson, Banatap Angus. Out here at Stonehenge. Part 2 Return of the Jedi. Do you guys do much, do they teach you guys much about breed plan? So you know that graph we just looked yeah, at? Maybe. Right down the middle is 50%. So yeah. if they're on the right, they're better than average. If they're on the left, they're um, not as good as average. We'll go back and look at the other bull, eh? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, let's see. Come on. He's a great looking bull. His carcass does not crash out. I don't know. So here's, his, here's where he's at. He's, 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 um, he's calving his direct is reasonable. His calving his daughters isn't great. Has his station length quite poor, meaning he tends to hold on. His calves tend to come a little bit later. His birth weight's right on neutral. He's got good 200 and 400 day weight, which is what we get paid for here. 600 day weight, he slows down and then drops to mature cow weight. And that's a beautiful, what we call a curve, like a curve bender, where he kind of starts small as a baby, grows out really well to 200, which is early weaning, 400, which is like a late weaning, like you've kept him as a yearling. Then he drops back to a slow mature cow weight. Even though he's a beautiful big bull, the daughters of him should be more moderate, which means they eat less, which is kind of a good thing. His daughters have lots of milk, which is kind of cool. His calving's a bit down. Scrotal circumference, he's got big nuts. I cannot lie, your brothers can't deny. His acility's a little bit down. The goalkeepers um, are puppies. All oh, right. They are puppies. That's net feed efficiency, your intake. Um, that's carcass weight, so it's down a little bit. Eye muscle area down a bit. Rib and rump, he's a little bit lean. Retail beef yield's a bit down. IMF's a tiny bit down. His claw's neutral. His legs are fantastic, and he's kind of neutral on the indexes. But it's beautiful. Oh, with the bung eye. Hello, son. How are you? One, two, five. Five, 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 five two. Yeah. Five, 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 five. Pretty wild, eh? Let's try it enough. We can put that metal halter on 